Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tap2K here, Tyler, and today we are continuing our My GM series. So we're gonna start out here. I was eyeing that Lakers game, so I'm gonna skip the two Trailblazers game and the Nuggets game. Skip the two Trailblazers games, we lost both of them, and then boom, the Kings have been sold to Bob Sanderson, an entertainment magnate, whatever that is, an NBA super fan. So we've been sold, the team I'm GMing has been sold. It's weird, did not sign up to be sold, uh, did not sign up for my team to be sold, but whatever. So, then we skipped the Nuggets game, which we win, and then it's press conference time. Press conference is basically just, you know, the same old crap. Your team, the team's been sold, how does it affect you, what's going to be your spot moving forward, are they going to keep you, blah, 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 whatever. All that kind of media stuff. So, we're going to uh, skip ahead and go straight to our first game against Lonzo Ball and the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Now, before we get into the game, while it's tipping off, I just want to let you guys know this has a little bit of audio issues. I was listening to something while I was playing, and for whatever reason, my my can't my mic was on or something i picked it up i don't know so you might hear weird audio in the background ignore that so here comes De'Aaron fox he tries to get around lonzo here gets to the basket he does not make the layup the sound white side gets that rebound passes it back out to De'Aaron fox and let me tell you guys that jumper was wet today heavily contested jumper it did not matter Honestly guys, this video might not even feel like a My Gym video, I just might feel like a De'Aaron Fox highlights video, because here he comes, De'Aaron Fox, right to the basket, that Swiss cheese defense by the Los Angeles Lakers, and we're out here getting buckets with De'Aaron Fox. My main man, Scala Bissier, also had a good game in this uh, in, the, in this game, which is kind of a weird, 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 weird way to say things, but here comes Scala Bissier, backing him down, passing it out to the three-point line, back to Scal, wide open jumper, and he makes it. I'll tell you guys something right now, if there comes a point where we have to choose between Scal and Willie Collie Stein, I'm sorry Willie Collie Stein, but I think I'm going to be going with Scal, because Scal is just overall better. I mean, I don't know about in real life, but in the game, Scal's better for sure. One point we had the score to 17 to 10, but they make a little bit of a comeback here. Luol Deng missing the three. Back out to Luol Deng, and he hits that, so they're taking the lead right now. But don't you worry about it. You know De'Aaron Fox ain't just going to sit back and let that happen. He drives right to the basket, dropping dimes to Hassan Whiteside, and Hassan Whiteside lays it in like it's nothing. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but uh, De'Aaron Fox isn't exactly the greatest three-point shooter in the world, which uh, in real life, I do have faith that De'Aaron Fox will be able to shoot the three. Here we go, De'Aaron Fox from downtown, and he hits the three. In real life, you know, I don't know if De'Aaron Fox will be able to hit that three. I hope he can. I mean, his shot his shot form isn't bad at all. I'm just hoping as the years go on, De'Aaron Fox is able to hit that three consistently. Here comes De'Aaron Fox again, though, driving again. Another shot, another make. De'Aaron Fox. I told you guys, this is like a highlight video. This ain't even a game. This was a really nice play right here by Scott LeBissier. Bogdanovich. Passing it to Ellington and then he gives it to LeBissier. LeBissier, but a little touch pass right to VC and VC hits the three. Vin Sanity. Oh, he's revving up the engine. This upcoming play right here is a good example of ball movement. Now, I, uh, I've been doing some thinking and I realized just by, based off what I know about the Sacramento Kings in real life is we don't have a first round pick this year, I don't think. Remember I told you guys I was good with losing this year because we were just going to tank? I don't look at this ball movement. I don't think we're going to be able to tank because. Missed the shot, but it's not white side cleans it up because we don't even have a draft pick. So I either have to trade for a draft pick or start trying to win games, which obviously I'm trying to win games. Some of these games, you know, I have no all-stars. Other teams have multiple all-stars, so it's hard. But I mean, at the very least this offseason, I want to try to sign Paul George. That's like my number one goal because 
Imagine if you took out Vince Carter just with Paul George alone, how much better this team would be. And then plus add in a few other key players here and there. It would be, I mean, we're not that far off from being able to win 50 plus games. In my opinion, Vince Carter with the steal to De'Aaron Fox, to Buddy Hield, back out to De'Aaron Fox with the mid-range jumper, and he can't hit it. Chris Bosh with the rebound, back to De'Aaron Fox. You know, he's not giving up, and he gets fouled. Is that free throws? Is that free throws? Is that free throws? No, but it's not free throws. Look at this shot from De'Aaron, guys. Look at this. He drives into traffic over like two or three guys, and he hits the mid-range jumper. Smothered coverage, and he was making his shots. When he made that three-pointer earlier, that bounce, like, had like two bounces on the rim, I knew from there on that De'Aaron Fox was just going to go off. Look, what kind of pass was Lonzo ball throwing there? Here comes De'Aaron Fox. All the way to the basket. Here he goes. Lays it in. I wish one complaint about De'Aaron Fox in this game is he doesn't do any duck dunks. It's all ooh, ducks. He doesn't do any ducks. He doesn't do any dunks. It's all layups, and it's like De'Aaron Fox is an explosive dunker. So I wish they would change his character up a little more to where he would dunk, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Comes a great show of ability here for my two favorite young players on this team. De'Aaron Fox gets the ball up top, drives. Create space, Scalabissier with the easy jumper. It that's just money for Scalabissier. Uh oh, Wayne Ellington with the steal here. Scalabissier already on the fast break. Wayne Ellington passing it to Scal. Look out below! And Lonzo quiets the hype music with that little mid-range jumper right there. But don't think Buddy Heal ain't getting those money green shot releases though. Unfortunately for the Los Angeles Lakers, we are starting to reach blowout territory here. Darren Fox with another corner three and he hits it. Darren Fox just went off this game. Like I cannot overstate enough how much of a Breakout game this was for De'Aaron Fox. Now I know I said De'Aaron Fox had a breakout game in the past, but this game is one for the ages this year. I mean, De'Aaron Fox really showed what he can do if he can shoot consistently. Here we go, another fast break opportunity. Saw Whiteside leading the break. Chris Bosch leading the break again. Now here comes De'Aaron Fox. Another three, De'Aaron. Nope. Saw Whiteside with the rebound, but Buddy Buckets got a wide open. They got no defense on the Los Angeles Lakers. None. They're leaving all our guys open. We even came in the game and, uh, Shot some free throws with De'Aaron Fox, drew some fouls just to pad the stats. De'Aaron Fox still misses some free throws though. His free throw release is a little tricky because it's so much slower. That's one thing about this game. All the free throw releases are slower than regular releases, so it's hard to get used to. But once you do, it's just like any other normal free throw. But that is the game, guys. We, uh, we blew him out handedly. So De'Aaron Fox won, Lonzo Ball zero is how I see it so far. Get blocked, son. And boys and girls, that is the game. Hassan Whiteside putting his hands up in the air. We're now 8 and 10 on the season. Almost 500 record. Take a look at those game stats right quick. Box score, De'Aaron Fox, 25.7 assists. No rebounds, no steals, no blocks, but no turnovers. Hassan Whiteside, 12 and 12. Scout, 10, 2 and 3. Buddy Heal just in straight up 9 points with 3 threes. I mean, we played well. Our team is actually so deep. Like Guys like Bogdanovich can really contribute for us, but... I mean, we got so many guys. Here, here you see Caldwell Pope had 18 points, and then that was pretty much it. He carried the team on his back. If you guys like the video, leave a comment below. Like the video and subscribe. We're cranking out videos. We got my GM. We're going to be doing my team some more, pack openings, all that good stuff. We're going to be doing Seven Days to Die and other games as they come out. Red Redemption, everything. We're cranking out videos left and right. So if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.